Deep in the woods of eastern North America lives a mysterious and elusive snake that, while not necessarily impressive in the color pattern department, has one of the most unique biologies of any of our snake species here in the US. I'm Mikey Green, and while we're out here in the upland forests of northern Georgia looking for some of the alien looking invertebrates that this area has to offer, flipping rocks, logs, and other cover on the ground is bound to yield us some nice surprises outside of our main targets. While flipping a rock on the ground, I was expecting a spider or a cricket, but instead found something much more unusual. All right, children, this right here is an amazing species of snake that I have never seen before in my entire life. This is the Eastern Worm Snake. It's a very strange looking snake, as you can see. It looks just like a worm, especially that pink underside. It makes this thing look just like an earthworm, but this is actually a snake. If you look really closely, you can see the scales, that cute little face with those two black beady eyes and a mouth, and every now and then you'll see a little tongue flicking out, confirming that this is indeed an eastern worm snake. Now these are not only referred to as worm snakes because they look like worms, they're also called that because they eat them. In fact, this species' diet is almost entirely consisting of earthworms, although they could also eat other soft-bodied invertebrates like slugs, maybe crickets underneath these rocks. Now, I said underneath these rocks. These are what are referred to as fossorial, which means that they live almost entirely underground and burrow into the ground, which means you are very unlikely to see this species, despite it being very common, without actively searching for it. You're not just gonna see these probably crossing the trail in front of you, because these things burrow into the leaf litter, underneath logs, and underneath rocks. Wherever it is dark is where you're gonna find these eastern worm snakes, because that is also where you would find earthworms, slugs, some crickets like cave crickets, other soft-bodied invertebrates that'll also live underground in these fossorial lifestyles. These eastern worm snakes are after all these little critters that are living underground to eat them. And you might be wondering, Mikey, why in the world are you handling a snake like this? Well, thankfully for me, this species is non-venomous and actually has a mouth that is so small it cannot physically bite me. So this species poses absolutely zero harm when handling it. The only thing that they do when you're handling them is that they musk a little bit, which is like a mixture of their poop and pee that they secrete out of their cloaca, or that all-purpose hole, basically, close to the tail. That smells really bad and is a defense that they use against predators to make them taste bad and smell bad and not want to be eaten by something like a bird or a bigger snake. If you look really closely at the face, you can see it's pretty shovel-nosed, in fact. It has a very flattened face with kind of a hard top. That really helps them burrow into the soil like they do, and it makes them very good and fast burrowers. I had to be very quick making this catch because it looked like it was heading back underneath the ground, underneath the rock. Another very interesting defense that these worm snakes have is that the tip of their tail is very spiky and sharp and hard. It feels kind of like a needle whenever it touches me, but that also poses no harm to me holding it. It won't even puncture through my skin. It's just another little defense that these would have against a smaller predator that I would imagine that that sharp tail tip could do a bit more damage to than me, especially to the eyes. These little snakes are a member of the family Colubridae, which is the most common snake family here in North America. Basically, all of our snakes, except for the highly venomous ones, are in the Colubridae family. Like the rat snakes, the racer snakes, the garter snakes, all the really common snakes that you see that are either lightly venomous, but like a harmless amount of venomous, or just completely non-venomous, like this eastern worm snake. And you can see, I'm not sure if this is just for camouflage purposes, as you can see they look very similar to the leaf litter on the ground with that kind of brownish coloration on the top and the more pale tan pinkish color on the bottom, but it does make them kind of look a lot more like an earthworm, and I would imagine that would help in their searches for finding earthworms to eat. Kind of like how there are a couple insects that mimic their prey, I would imagine that even if it might not be completely on purpose, this looking quite a lot like an earthworm would be very helpful in their searches for food. This snake, while it might not have legs, is really good at slithering around and burrowing under these rocks and leaf litter where they belong. So let's let this eastern worm snake go and keep looking for some stuff out here in this beautiful wooded habitat in northern Georgia.
If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to check out this video right here, where we find another unique herb of this region, the cave salamander. Enjoy!